So <clears throat> let's so NCCN. Brian, what's your what's your feel about how urologists in the community in general view NCCN guidelines? I think we're all starting to slowly get used to the NCCN guidelines. Um, you know, I think I kind of showed it to a couple of my partners who are like not totally aware of the guidelines, and it is a pretty fluid document. They update it regularly, incorporate new therapies, and I think that is something that payers and the government looks at and we as physicians need to be aware of as well because I think it is founded on some good science of what we should be doing to take care of patients. So what the NCCN guidelines recommend in terms of castration resistant metastatic prostate cancer patients is that in the asymptomatic or minimally symptomatic that the physician should consider Sapulis LT or a clinical trial. But in the symptomatic patient, the recommendation uh, has been cytotoxic chemotherapy. And as we all know, prior to 2005, there wasn't a whole lot out there. There was, there was mitoxantron with prednisone, and, uh, and, and then there was docetaxel. And it was, it's been my feeling that many, many urologists, because of the side effect profile, of cytotoxic chemotherapy and again the fact that many of these patients were asymptomatic and like you said Dan they were used to coming into the urologist's office they were used to seeing you they were used to seeing our nurses they were very comfortable the concept of sending them on to a medical oncologist was really almost a sign that yes we're giving you know we're giving up even though docetaxel had a survival benefit uh, that was modest, but still a survival benefit. But it's, it is still the recommendation in the symptomatic prostate, in the symptomatic CRP-CM1 patient, that docetaxel uh, be instituted. 